Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Now I'm sitting here and I always try to figure out how things work. And I've got something here that I, I can't completely explain. And of course, it's a children's toy. Usually children's toys are extremely easy to explain how they work. However, believe it or not, um, usually some of the most innovative technology comes in the form of children's toys. So let's go ahead, let's flip this camera around and I'll show you what it's doing and what I know it can do. And then uh, I'll get you guys' opinions on how it's doing the rest. Because <laughs> I, I can't completely explain it. All right, guys, so here we are. This is the Learning Friends 100 Words book by Leapfrog. And I can immediately see some indexing wheels right here. And there's probably... Underneath each one of these wheels, there's probably a micro switch that picks it up so it knows what page has been flipped. So when you open it up, they're all, let's say if it's ones and zeros right now, they're all zeros, right? So let's, let's close this book, turn it on. Hi friend, let's explore. Open the book. Okay, so we open the book. Pets. All right. So, <clears throat> of course, it talks too much, right? So it's got these pages, and you can see that they're they're indexed, and right here are the indicators. However, um, notice that each okay. So it looks like it's touch screen, right? It looks like maybe there should be micro buttons underneath it, but that doesn't make sense because as you flip pages, if there these are micro uh, micro switches that you press then with every page, it's going to get more and more difficult to press through the page because notice there's no holes in these pages. And notice how they're kind of translucent. All right, so no light is shining through these. So it doesn't work based on light that I'm aware of. So when you flip a page, you can see that a page is attached to a collar. I'm going to shut that off because it's annoying. So a page is attached to a collar, and when you flip it, you can notice that all these will indicate one thing, and this one here is going to change its setting, so that's how it knows what page you're on. And it knows if, if this side is being activated over here, because right here is a page, and again, you would think that there are buttons, right? But they're not, and I'm going to prove it to you. So it's not working via press. I haven't figured it out. So this is how it determines what page you're on. And based on whether or not it's this side being activated through this plastic panel or all the way here in the back, this plastic panel, that's how it knows what page you're on based on which color is activated. So let's go ahead and flip through a couple of them. So now you can see if this is ones and zeros, we got one, 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 zero, zero. Okay, so it knows one, 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 zero, zero. If this page is activated, here are the things. And if this side is activated, here are the things okay and notice they're only in certain regions on every single page that makes sense what doesn't make sense is how it knows that you're going to touch it because as I said earlier if it's touch sensitive then the more pages you stack up the more difficult it is to press through so it can't be based on that and what if I told you that it activates things without even touching so let's go ahead Turn it on and watch this. My finger is not going to touch. See, I didn't even touch it yet. Two foot. Ooh, see, it activates before I even touch it. Mouth. Oh, there, that one was definitely clear. Mouth. See, right there. So it activates without me touching. Nose. <laughs> Eyes. See, I'm 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 hovering about that far off. So let's say two to three millimeters. Ear. Off. Body. Yeah, this Body. one. This one I'm really far off. See, ready? Body. Okay. So I'm not touching it. So if there was some Ear. sort of matrix across this, then then that would make sense. There's no matrix that I can tell. I held this up to the light. I see nothing in the page, so there's no electrical contacts in this page whatsoever. 
So how does it know? This is where I'm really confused. Anytime you have proximity that's being activated, it's through infrared. So there's no um, there's no high voltage through here. I mean, it's powered by what? A uh, couple double A's? Yeah, so we, we've only got three volts powering this thing. If it was a nine volt, then I'd say there's there's maybe a high voltage matrix and you know you are coming in close contact but that's not how this guy's operating so looking at the perimeter the only thing i can figure is that there's some sort of infrared sensor underneath each and every one of these buttons and i just can't see it because normally with infrared you'd have a receiver right so i just don't get it and how how would an infrared do it? Um, because with multiple windows or multiple pages, it would get more and more difficult to detect the infrared, but it's not at all. Here, let me turn you on. Let's see. Hi, let's put picture. let's put all the pages on this side. Let's see. And let's see if I can come close to the draft. Giraffe. Oh. I'm trying as close as I can. The, Lion. Yeah, see, I'm not I'm not even touching it. Let's try it with the side profile. Ready? Lion. Yep, see? I didn't even touch it. Monkey. The middle's extremely sensitive. Monkey. Yeah, see? I'm really far off the... So I'm about five millimeters in the middle and it activates. So Panda. if it is, Vehicles. I don't know. Do you think it works on capacitance? Because I'm not actually touching, so I don't see how that could happen. The only thing I could figure is it's infrared, but it's not infrared. I know this is how it figures out what page I'm on, but how do you think it's activating these fields? Now, if there was two of these, if I found another one, I would tear it apart and we'd get those answers. But uh, it has been painfully uh, made clear to me that I am not to tear this thing apart. <laughs> so if I can't tear it apart, then I've got to figure out how this does what it does. And I just can't see it. There's no detectors. There's no detectors anywhere. So the detectors have to be through here. And it's shining up through the pages. And it's detecting my hand close to proximity. I don't know. So anyway, guys, if you could help me, I have to understand how things work. And if I have to buy one of these off Amazon to bring it home for a sacrificial good to figure out how this is happening, I will do it. I will do it. But I'd rather not. So if you guys have any ideas on how this thing is functioning, let me know. And maybe, just maybe, I'll find one someplace and I'll tear it apart. Because this is pretty cool tech. You know, and, and you're probably wondering why on a medical repair channel would you have something like a children's toy? Well, notice there's there's a couple features on children's toys that are also very common with uh, medical equipment. One of them it has to be able to be cleaned. So notice there is no no orifices or anything that detect light because that would be a place where fluids and stuff can get inside it. Children's toys are generally kept hermetically sealed. So that you can um, clean it, wipe it down in between kids. That's one of the crazy traits. It's durable, extremely durable, just like medical equipment. They have to be made very, very durable. Now, whatever this technology is, it's extremely precise and it, it's never wrong. And I think that this is absolutely amazing because just like how it detects what page I'm on, there are actually many applications where... You, we could use a physical menu system like this in a medical facility to maybe uh, figure out how kids are feeling or something. You could hand them a device like this and, you know, figure out how they're feeling, their pain levels, you know, if they, if they want something. Because, believe it or not, this little device here also does Spanish. Go figure, right? So if a kid wants a drink or if they're feeling pain or something, technology like this is exactly how you could do it very inexpensively. I mean, they sell these for what, $30, $40 in stores? 
Who's to say they don't make a pocket translator version like this for hospitals for kids, especially bilingual or multilingual, so that you can select your different language, like right here. And obviously there's, there's different alarm levels. And plus you can also play games on it. So it's also an entertainment, entertainment mechanism for kids in hospitals. But uh, I'd like to see a medical device that's kind of kind of designed like this. It doesn't use light that I'm aware of, and it doesn't use electrical fields because electrical fields would maybe be bad for kids with heart conditions or, you know, leakage. So I, I don't know how it does it. It doesn't do it with physical touch, but I'm really curious what you guys think. Let me know. It's just a, just a kid's toy, but it's absolutely amazing in the level of technology they've been able to encompass in this. Thanks.